Hi, I hope everyone had a lovely new year. Um, in this video, we're going to show you how one could upgrade a hot air station. Quick disclaimer, it's just for educational purposes. So I don't recommend um, breaching any trademarks or whatever, but uh, do it at your own free will if you wish to. Right. Here we have the uh, JBC hot air station. This is uh, one of the high-end hot air stations on the market. Um, as you can see, they're very expensive. They, uh, including VAT, £1,776 to buy. Uh, it comes with the extractor kit on the left-hand side. And then you have the um, extractor pump at the bottom. And it's basically a hot air station with an extractor kit built into it. And I'm going to show you how one could transform their cheap hot air station to do the same thing. Uh, here's a promotional video just to show you what this extractor kit does exactly. So you get a rough idea what, what I'm talking about. It basically makes removing ICs from a motherboard a lot easier and a lot safer. Here I have my cheap, quick hot air station, and just for educational purposes, if I was to go ahead and upgrade it, or one was to go ahead and upgrade it, this is how you go about it. Uh, you um, look for a JBC supplier, and look for replacement parts for the hot air station. As you can see, they sell the tripods on their own. These come in all different diameters and sizes. Uh, you can purchase these on their own, depending on what size you need. Uh, you can get all different size ones and diameters, heat shields, you name it. And then also, you, uh, if you wanted to do this, you could buy this uh, pump, vacuum pump. These are twenty nine ninety nine each, four seventy nine postage. They're very cheap. As you can see, these parts are very cheap to purchase you how one could upgrade their hot air station using these parts. Well, right, I've ordered mine. Mine are turned up in the post. Uh, this is just for educational purposes. Um, here we have the tripod. This is the big diameter one. As you can see, it's uh, quite a sizable one for a sizable IC. And then we have the little tripod. This is for smaller ICs. As you can see, the dome on the bottom is slightly smaller than the other one. And um, depending on the size dome, is uh, depending on the IC it's able to pick up. Here you have the heat shields. Uh, these go over. These are placed over the IC. So as you can see, you can get them in tiny sizes. These tripods basically work by being sprung loaded. They have a spring inside and they sprung loaded. When you push them down, they pop back up. And the bigger one does the same. You can get all different size ones for these. Yeah, they're all sprung loaded. At the bottom, you have a suction cup. This suction cup will attach to the IC, and this heat shield will uh, be placed over the suction cup. This is done by gravity. You won't have to push it down. And basically that covers the suction cup and protects it from heat damage. Uh, the bigger one has a bigger suction cup. And they're sprung loaded, push them down, they stick to the top of the IC. Using the vacuum pump to cause a vacuum which allows it to stick. And this is the cheap vacuum pump that I showed you. Which turn uh, Unfortunately it's got two outlets. And you can adjust the uh, suction on it. And I'll show you it in action. Right, uh, if you want to attach the big one, you need these um, attachment parts for attaching it to the pump. Uh, you can buy these from any aquarium in shop, depending on what size um, attachment you get. And as you can see, I have a Nintendo Switch donor board here, which I'm going to show you for demonstration purposes. Here's the heat shield. Normally, the heat shield will be placed over the chip to protect uh, other components against heat. But for camera purposes, I'm going to do it without. Right, here we go. Turn the pump on. Um, as you can see, this is a twin outlet. 
you cover that, you get more suction. I recommend having that covered, but for this for this demonstration, I'm going to do it without. And another thing, uh, them heat shields, you can use them without this uh, tripod kit. You can just use them to protect other components. They're quite handy to have. Well, let's get this set up. Right, you push it down, and then the suction, as you can see, this causes more suction. So, if you uh, cover that, you'll have more suction. I have that on maximum, and as you can see, the suction cup is attached to the IC. Uh, all you do is push down and attach itself to the IC. Obviously, you'd have a heat shield on it normally, but for demonstration purposes, I'll just show you it without the heat shield. I may switch over to my microscope camera to give you a better view because it's quite hard um, heating it up with one hand and holding the camera with the other off but I'll do my best but I think the microscope camera will be better for this Well, as you can see I'm heating up the chip now with the suction cup attached to it Here's the microscope view I'll try my best to get the best angle, but obviously this placed on top don't give you a good view, but you can see what's going on. I'm heating up the IC now. There you go. And as you can see, the sprung loaded suction cup this automatically picks up the chip perfectly when it's melted. And as you can see, no torn pads, nothing. Normally you'd have the heat shield on it. Bear that in mind. And um, yeah, basically this is a JVC hot air station. It's a lot cheaper. But this video is solely for educational purposes. Um, if you wish to do this, uh, do it at your own free will. That's, that's entirely up to you. Um, I do recommend use the heat shield though. Because these will protect the um, plastic components and that. And also, you can use these heat shields um, in other environments as well without the tripod. As you can see, it lifts the chip perfectly. You could also glue this to the side of your hot air station, it doesn't take up a lot of room. Um, yeah, there you have it. Uh, if you like the video, please subscribe. Uh, check out my other videos as well. And please give me a thumbs up, please. And I really appreciate all the support as this is a new channel. And thanks very much for watching.